Hey guys, it's time for the question of the week. Um, today's question uh, was ans asked on uh, my YouTube channel. And um, it's a good question. And I actually had another question of the week planned to be answered this week. But um, I decided to do this one because even though it was just asked this week, it was asked in response to a video that I just did on the Twin Flame Truth TV episode that I just did on Wednesday about um, how um, unconditional love or loving yourself is unconditional love um, for others. And so this question, it's, it's, it's taken from that video, like I said. And so it is why... Why isn't it loving yourself to expect or want your twin flame to treat you in a certain way? And um, so, for example, I think it might have been phrased um, more accurately on the, on, on the actual question by this person, um, you know, to treat them nice or nicely or with respect or something like that. Of course, those are all relative terms, so I just said in a certain way, right? Um, and so... Um, this is a multifaceted answer, as is everything, <laughs> because we have the soul level answer, and then we have the physical world level answer. I will start with the soul level answer, because that's the level that we are working on in this journey, and really the only level that we need to concern ourselves with. Um, but I will address the physical answer after this. Okay, so first of all, why is it not considered loving yourself to care what the twin flame, or anyone for that matter, how they are treating you? Um, because, uh, there's a few reasons for this on the soul level. Well, first of all, because caring about what someone else, how someone else is, is treating you, um, or, you know, what they're saying, doing, or doing regarding you or to you, um, or about you is, um, is placing in, it's, 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 thinking that they have some kind of power over you. It's giving your power to them. It's thinking that that whatever they're doing can cause you or make you feel a certain way. It's putting the responsibility of how you're feeling on that other person and their actions and their thoughts and their words, right? Um, so, for example, you know, if you um, are feeling, you know, if, so, if someone, you know, someone says something to you, um, twin flame or not, anyone, if anyone says something to you and, you know, you take offense to that, you think that it's like, you know, a rude thing or, you know, it's, it's not nice. And then, you know, you take offense to that. So it makes you feel bad, right? And any way of bad, mad, sad, depressed, insecure, whatever, right? It makes you feel a bad feeling because you are judging what that person said as a bad thing. Now, say that same person goes to the next person and says the exact same thing to them but they think it's funny. They laugh, they crack up, you know, that makes them feel good, happy, you know, giggly, whatever, right? So they think they're judging because they're judging what that person said as good. But if that person said the exact same thing to you as they said to this other person, it's not the person doing anything that's making you feel anyway. It's how you're judging what that person says. Right, because it's not it's not the words that the person's doing that makes anyone feel bad or good. It's how that the person receiving those words is judging it, and you know, judgment of anything is fear based energy. Remember, the soul does not judge. Love does not judge. Love is acceptance without judgment, and so you know, loving yourself is being yourself, which is being love. Now. Having said that, there's also <laughs> the fact that, you know, caring what your twin flame or anyone else says or does is also underlying, it's looking for um, acceptance or approval from your twin flame or whatever person we're talking about, insert person here, right? Whenever we're looking, we care what anyone outside of ourselves, any other person is doing or saying about us or how they're treating us or whatever. We are then looking for them. We want them to treat us better or different or in our own judgment, good, because it's somehow to us is we think that's going to val validate us. That means they approve of us or they're accepting us. And, um, you know, that also is, is not loving yourself because the whole point of loving yourself is that you approve and accept yourself yourself. You don't need outside validation. 
you don't, it doesn't matter what anyone else <laughs> says about you or anything else because you know that you are perfect and you're whole and you're complete and you love yourself. And so, you know, you provide your own acceptance and all you need is your own approval. You are everything that you need. So you don't need any of that from anyone else, you know, least of all the twin flame. And if you put that you need something from your twin flame or you expect your twin flame to treat you a certain way as a way to somehow validate your own um, acceptance or approval or something then um, what is that that's pushing your energy onto the twin flame your twin flame goes right so um, that's looking outside of yourself for something else and loving yourself is knowing resonating and I don't mean knowing in your head I mean knowing that you resonate you just are whole and complete within on yourself with yourself that you are trusting and believing yourself that you are whole and you approve of yourself and that is trusting and believing in yourself right and of course that's loving yourself is trusting and believing in yourself and trusting and believing that you are you accept yourself and your own approval is all that's needed you don't need outside validation of yourself um because you know that's not even that's not even coming <laughs> that's having fear and questioning your own your own approval of yourself to seek that from others um, now, okay, so that's on the soul level. That's why it's not loving yourself because it is looking outside of yourself for something else. That's basically what it comes down to. But, okay, I told you I'd address the physical level here, and so here's this. That, you know, physically, on the human, human relating experience physical level, if anyone, twin flame or not, is treating in a way that you don't like to be treated, then guess what? You don't have to stay there. You don't have to put up with it. You leave, you know, just leave. I mean, that's where boundaries come in, right? Um, you know, you cannot control how another person is going to treat you. No one can, you know, that's, that's out of your control. What you can control is what you do in response to that or not, right? Or if you want to stay there and put up with it or not. I mean, if someone's treating you badly and you're there and you're still, you know, trying to, you know, communicate with them or whatever, twin flame or not, then I mean, that's on you, <laughs> you know? I mean, you can't, you can't blame them. They're treating me badly, but here I still am allowing them to treat me badly. No, because you can't control how they're treating you, but you can control if you're, you're going to be staying there and giving them the opportunity to do it, right? So that's the answer on both those levels. On the soul level, it's not loving yourself because, like I said, it's looking outside of yourself rather than focusing within for some kind of validation of yourself. And you don't need validation because if you love yourself, when you truly love yourself, you know that you are perfect, whole, complete, and you don't need anything or anyone else outside of you. Um, and on the physical level, it means that, you know, you can't control what anyone else is doing or saying or thinking or feeling. So, I mean, what you can control is your own, if you decide to physically be there or not, right? And put up with it. I mean, that's on you. This is all about taking responsibility for yourself. When we're concerned and caring about what other people are doing or saying or how they're treating us or any of this other stuff, then guess what? It means we are giving them the responsibility. I mean, it's an illusion. It's not really happening. But we're putting responsibility of our own feelings onto them. I mean, you really want to give them that much power, <laughs> anything outside of you, that much power over you to think that they can control your feelings? No, because first of all, it's not even real. It's not true. No one can control your feelings. In the first example I gave, you know, the same person can say the same thing to you and to someone else, and it, you could both just take it different ways, and that determines how you're going to feel, right? So instead of judging what other people are doing, saying, thinking, feeling, including the physical form of your twin flame, because judgment is not love, judgment is fear, you know, we just balance that out. We don't worry about it. We don't, we don't judge it. We just accept it as it is. And, you know, it's perfect. It's exactly as it's meant to be. We don't need any validation. We don't need anyone or expect anything, anything from anyone to treat us a certain way or to say certain things to us because we're whole and complete in ourselves and we don't need that from anyone else outside of ourselves. We are enough. We are perfect. We are whole. We are complete. And so that is loving yourself. Loving yourself is accepting yourself without judgment. If you have to look outside of yourself for any kind of validation, for approval, for acceptance, or anything like that, or to, so you think it's going to make you feel good, then guess what? That's not accepting yourself without judgment. That's judging yourself. That's being uncertain about yourself, 
where you think like, oh, if someone else though thinks I'm okay, then, then I'm going to think I'm okay. No, it doesn't work that way. You know you're okay. You are perfect. You are whole. And then whatever anyone else is doing, I mean, that's fine. I mean, you'll see, regarding the twin flame, I mean, your twin flame will reflect that back to you, of course. But, you know, it, you can't care about that. <laughs> that's not, caring about what your twin flame is reflecting back to you is, is not loving yourself. That is, um, and if you're not loving yourself, your twin flame is going to reflect that back to you for sure because that's the role of the twin flame. So anyway, I hope this answers that question. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please keep submitting questions, and I will address them in future videos. Have a great weekend, everybody, and lots of love.